Hey everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can use the lab view to read input register data from our Modbus TCP device. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to read the input status. Okay. We are going to read the input coil status in the lab view. So input coil status means either it can be a zero or it can be a one. So we are going to read that in the lab view. So here is my Modbus TCP simulator device okay and here is my lab view project okay so we are going to read the status of this discrete input coils in the lab view that what is the status it's on or it's off okay so for that in the uh, server side or you can say in the simulator side you have to select you know function code 2 for input status okay and the slave id is 1 i have selected and if i disconnect and if i connect then you can see I have selected connection type mode based TCP IP and IP address is 127.0.0.1. You can see that here 127.0.0.1. Port number is 10502, which I have specified here. And unit ID is 1. You can see that here unit ID is 1. Timeout 10,000 millisecond. Count is 4 because I want to read, uh, you know, 4 discrete coil status in the lab view so that is why count is four and the starting address is zero so i want to read uh, from zero coil so that is why i have to use starting address as a zero okay now we want to read this data what is the status of you know discrete input zero one two and three we want to read that in the lab view so i have to just run this project and you can see everything is zero first four discrete input status is zero or you can say first four discrete input coil is zero if i change to one okay if i change to coil zero to one you can see it is on okay if i do for the second coil or you can say first uh, input coil you can change from here okay you can see it is on let me do for the third one you can see the status and you can also see the status for the fourth one if i turn to auto change then you can see it is continuously flashing okay so this is how you can read your uh, discrete input status in the lab view or you can also say input coil status in the lab view okay and if i disconnect this one then it will be automatically disconnected you can see it cannot be read the packets from this device and if it is disconnected and if i try to run my project then also it will give me error that tcp connection is not open we cannot connect with the Morbus tcp device okay now you can start again but it will not connect now i have to connect or I, we have to connect Modbus tcp device with our system so that our lab view can read the data from here so if i turn it on if i run the project then you can see it is able to connect now i can also stop the uh, you know project from this stop button and i can start from here okay so this is how you can read the discrete input status okay uh, yeah discrete input status or you can say input status in the lab view from your Modbus tcp device you can also read multiple functions like if you want to read input status as well as holding register as well as uh, input register then also you can modify the code and you can read simultaneously in one single project and you can make a dashboard kind of thing you can log your data into your database csv file okay so those things are possible with the lab view so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any concern then you can you know ping me on telegram instagram or whatsapp uh, i'll try to resolve your doubt as soon as possible and if you want to buy this project okay if you want to buy the uh, lab view project then also you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere also the buying link will be in the description of this video you can also visit that link and you can also buy this lab view project okay so i hope this thing is clear and we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we are going to uh, read the coil status in the lab view okay so instead of the input coil we are going to read the coil status so if i change to coil status now with the function code one you can see the lab view is not able to read those data so if you want to read those data then also we can read it and we will see that in the next video so stay tuned for the next video and till then take care goodbye